Welcome gun enthusiasts. Warning to people who hate guns, hate civilian ownership of guns and the Second Amendment that protects the inherent pre-existing right of the civilians to own guns. Please stay away from this channel. You will not like what you see here. While we may produce some contents based on economics, technology, financial instruments, etc., I cannot guarantee that you will not see some gun-related video that will probably infuriate you if you hate guns. So I would advise gun haters to please stay away. Please do not attempt to imitate or reproduce any action you see us doing here. We have good experience and education about computer science, mathematics, economics, finance, engineering, and sports including shooting sports. We will not be liable if you attempt to imitate us or get inspired by us, cause personal injury, property damage, catastrophe, and emotional pain to yourself or to others. I am not a financial advisor and none of the content mentioned here should be construed as financial advice. I am not a lawyer. Therefore, my opinion on the legal matters should not be considered as legal advice. We own all guns according to the legal jurisdiction where we reside. You should also pass these guns in accordance with the laws of the lands where you live. We will always start with 2A and 4 rules of gun safety. Second Amendment aka 2A states that the well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Note that the Second Amendment is not bestowing the right to people. Rather, it is implying people already have their inherent rights to own and carry guns. This right cannot be infringed upon. This amendment actually instructing government not to infringe the right of people to bear and carry arms. The Second Amendment, Amendment 2, to the United States Constitution protects the right to keep and bear arms. That is the nature of all amendments, not only the Second Amendment. For example, the First Amendment states a Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So this amendment prohibits legislature from shutting down freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of peaceful assembly of the citizen. The amendments protect right of the citizen from government infringements. They are not for restricting rights of the citizens. Rather, they are for restricting overreach of government. Anti-gun people make this basic mistake. I will leave it at that and make another presentation about all the amendments when I have time. Four rules of gun safety are as follows. 1. All guns are always loaded. 2. Never let the muzzle cover anything you are not willing to destroy. 3. Keep your finger off the trigger till your sights are on the target and you have decided to shoot. 4. Know your target and what is behind it. In all our presentations, you will see us abiding by these rules. With that being taken care of, let us focus on our subject today, which is First AR build without any AR armor or tool sets by dad and son. This is our first AR, and we chose to build rather than buy. We will list down step by step how we figured this out so that other US citizens who have the right to build and own gun, but where the fence may be because they don't know anybody to show them or encourage them, can also build an AR. Step 1. We bought this complete kit from PSA. I will put down the link below. Shipping was fast. Product details. Details. 16-inch barrel length. M for profile barrel. Chrome moly barrel. 5.56 NATO chamber. 1 and 7-inch twist rate. F marked front sight post. A two-flash hider. Sling loop. Standard hand guards with heat shields. Forged upper receiver. T marks. Bolt carrier group. Charging handle. PSA Freedom Lower Build Kit. These uppers will have cosmetic blemishes that do not affect function. This may include, but is not limited to, forging marks under the finish, scratches, slight variation in the finish color coat. Features. Barrel. 4150V Chrome Moly Steel. Chambered in 5.56 NATO with a 1.7 twist, M4 barrel extension, and a carbine length gas system. Barrel is as finished off with a standard handguard, F marked gas sight base and A2 flash hider. Upper. Forged 7075. T6A3 AR upper is machined to ML specs and hard coat anodized. Features a forged upper receiver. These uppers are made for us right here in the USA by a mil-spec manufacturer. Bolt. Filato profile bolt carrier group. Mil-spec carpenter number 158 steel bolt. Gas key hardened to USGI specifications, fastened with grade 8 screws, and stake per mil-spec. 8620 steel nitride M16 profile carrier. Lower build kit. Includes classic M4. Style stock. A2 pistol grip. Classic lower parts kit and mil spec diameter 6 position buffer tube assembly. Everything you need to finish your strip lower. 
These uppers will have cosmetic blemishes that do not affect function. This may include, but is not limited to, forging marks under the finish, scratches, slight variation in the finish color coat. What's included? Customers are responsible for ensuring that when assembling kits, they must adhere to all local, state, and federal laws. Your new Palmetto State Armory Kit will include the listed components that are required to assemble into a complete AR rifle or pistol. Fire Control Group AR-15 Hammer Hammer Spring AR-15 Trigger Trigger Spring Trigger Slash Hammer Pins Disconnector Disconnect a Spring Buffer Tube Assembly Buffer Tube Buffer Buffer Spring Castle Nut Latch Plate Buffer Retainer Detent Buffer Retainer Detent Spring Takedown and Pivot Pin Assembly Takedown Pin Pivot Pin Takedown Springs 3 Takedown Detents 3 Bolt Catch Assembly Bolt Catch Bolt Catch Detent Bolt Catch Detent Spring Bolt Catch Roll Pin Asterisk Not Included in 9mm Build Kits Magazine Catch Assembly Magazine Catch Magazine Catch Button Magazine Catch Spring Safety Selector Assembly Safety Selector Selector Detent Selector Spring. The price of this rifle kit is about $650, but we got a deal from PSA for about $350. The complete build kit did not come with any instructions about what to attach in what order. So we sometime had to disassemble and reassemble. It also did not come with a stirped lower, a rear sight, and any AR magazines. Step 2. We bought a stripped lower from local FFL. This part is classified as a gun, and you will need to go to an FFL for background check slash carry permit. I chose Anderson Manufacturing AM-15 Strip Lower Receiver. The Anderson Manufacturing AM-15 Strip Lower Receiver is CNC machined from 7075T6 aluminum at Anderson's in-house factory in Hebron, Kentucky. Each aspect of this AR lower is made to meet mil-spec requirements, offering optimal fit on your next build. The lower is finished in Type 3, hard anodized, black finish. This lower is stripped, and you'll need an LPK, lower parts kit, to complete your lower build. Pair it with an upper of your choice, and you're ready to hit the range. The lower is the registered, serialized part of an AR-15, and must be shipped to an FFL dealer where a background check is performed. CNC machined, mil-spec stripped lower. Pairs with mil-spec uppers and mil-spec lower parts kits. 7075T6 aluminum construction. Type 3, hard anodized black finish. We assembled these with about hundreds of parts that came with the PSA Complete Rifle Kit. Me and my son built the gun using only normal tools that we had to make slash repair computers, cars, etc. It took me and my son about 4 hours to build it looking at the picture of the parts list and YouTube videos. If we had a decent armorer kit that would definitely speed up the process. Step 3. We had to buy a rear sight. I chose Magpul MBUS Pro LR Adjustable AR-15 Rear Sight. The Magpul MBUS Pro LR Adjustable AR-15 Rear Sight enhances your ability to engage targets at variable ranges. The windage and elevation adjustment wheels turn positively without tools. All steel, case-hardened construction, finished with melanite holds up to extreme use and resist wear and corrosion. The MBUS Pro LR Sight mounts to any ML, STD, 1913 Picatinny Rail, and positive detents hold the sight in both the up and down positions. Magpul AR-15 accessories and tactical gear have been earning respect with security forces all over the world, and their MBUS Pro LR adjustable AR-15 rear rearsight holds up to their reputation. Manufacturer model hashtag MAG527. Adjust for both windage and elevation. Step 4. We had to buy AR magazines. I chose Elite Tactical Systems Black Nylon 30RD AR-15 mag. Nylon AR-15 mag features. Available in black, FD, and OD green. State-of-the-art long fiber polymer provides unmatched toughness and durability. Improved feed lip geometry allows better compatibility with more receivers. Over-insertion tab is larger to increase mag retention. Standard 30-round capacity. Compatible with .300 blackout. No-tilt follower with reliable bolt open on last round. Fast and easy disassembly for maintenance without tools via our specially designed floor plate. Ergonomically designed floor plate makes it easy to grab from mag pouches. Magazine grip ribs gives you superior control. Lifetime warranty. Advanced polymer benefits. Extreme impact resistance. Won't crack or break when dropped. Very resistant to harsh chemicals. 
Superior heat, cold, and UV resistance won't become brittle over time even when exposed to harsh environments or extreme cold. Creep resistant, the feed lips and body won't spread when being stored long term even when fully loaded. Step 5. Next we went looking for ammo. In my location currently 5.56 ammo is cheaper than 0.223. Go figure. We bought Winchester USA Full Metal Jacket 5.56x45mm 55 rifle ammunition. Features and benefits. 5.56. 55 grains. 0.267 ballistic coefficient. 3,270 frames per second muzzle velocity. 1,305 feet. LB. Muzzle energy. 20 round box. Specifications. Hunting species. Hog slash predator. Number of rounds. 20. Product type. Cinefire ammunition. Grain weight. 55. Activity. Target. What's in the box? Winchester USA Full Metal Jacket 5.56mm 55 grain rifle ammunition. Important product and safety information. We recommend the use of protective eyewear whenever using or near the use of this item. You must be 18 or older to purchase rifle or shotgun ammunition and 21 or older to purchase handgun ammunition. In ordering this product, you certify that you are of legal age and satisfy your jurisdiction's legal requirements to purchase this product. For safety reasons, we do not accept returns on ammunition. Always make sure you use the correct ammunition for your specific firearm. Item must ship Federal Express ground. The sale or shipment of this product to residents of certain jurisdictions is prohibited. Check your local laws before ordering this product. Check your local laws for any other regulations. We also bought some Winchester USA 5.56x45mm NATO 62 grain full metal jacket steel core ammunition. Please make sure you have a place to shoot this ammo as most ranges will not allow you to shoot this ammo. If you have say your private ranch or farm with 100 acre land somewhere or have access to hunting land where you hunt large animals with tough muscle and a lot of body fats like mountain lions, boars, hogs, elks, bears, mooses, crocodiles then maybe it will make sense. Otherwise it will belong to your SHTF bag I may chill. Make sure you hit your target with the Winchester USA 5.5 shooting day one. We could not figure out where the OEM blemishes were. I actually blemished the strip lower a little while installing the rest of the kits. We then waited for the range day. We were sure that something will fall off when we fire the first round. When that did not happen, we thought it will break down before the first match is over. Oh boy, it shot straight, dot on target. Right from the first round, we were thrilled beyond description. We did not expect success in our first attempt. The rifle was more accurate than we were. Here's the picture of the target on day one. This is in our 50 yards range. Shooting day two. In my location, currently 5 0.56 is cheaper than 223, so we bought some 556 and headed towards range. This is the flexibility of AR. Sometimes 223 is cheaper than 5.56. Sometimes 5.56 is cheap. I believe forces use 5.56. Therefore, it is manufactured more. If a company received, say, a order of 4.9 million rounds from government for the forces, it manufactures 5 then sell the additional round to civilian market. It is 
possible that a consignment do not pass armed forces quality check, but otherwise passes the quality check for civilian market? The entire consignment is sent to the domestic civilian market. Therefore, having a sizable domestic civilian market is helpful to everybody in the value chain. This is overlooked by civilian gun ban propaganda artists. U.S. civilians tend by what armed forces use. Basically, civilians trust judgment of armed forces. This is not only for ammo, but is seen for guns as well. Guns like Colt M1911A1 and Beretta M9 slash 92FS have fan following among civilians because these were the choice of armed forces for a very long time. All guns that made it to the evaluation of armed forces and XM-17 modular handgun system competition are also popular among civilians. For example, SIG P320 because it was finally the chosen one in 17 full size and M18 combat. But Beretta APX CZ07-09 FN509 Block 17 slash 19 slash 22 slash 23. Smith and Wesson MNP 2.0. Ruger American Pistol. Etc. that were not selected but were evaluated by the forces are also popular among civilians. We shot approximately 300 rounds, 556 so far, and it shot like a champ. The recoil and noise were less than what we anticipated in the NATO rounds. The rifle felt hefty, which is why the recoil was less than we expected for the five. 0.56 rounds. It weighed to be 8.5 pounds approximately without the magazine and ammunition. This is definitely one of the best $1,000 When I can build something that I have never built before that is a weapon, 